Good morning. It's Pastor Steve with another children's message. Uh, this one's about salvation, being set free, forgiven. And we are uh, we're forgiven by Jesus, which is a nice thing. And, uh, oh, Josh has got an invitation for me. It's probably a invitation to a 4th of July party a little late. You are invited to Josh's salvation party. Salvation party? What's up with that, Josh? We're in phase two and you're throwing a party? Come celebrate Josh's forgiveness. RSVP. Well, I guess I can go if I wear a mask. Oh, hey, Megan. Hey. Thanks. Man, another one. To Megan and David's Forgiveness Festival. Oh, I bet the music is going to be great. I wonder if they're going to bring their wandering uh, forgiveness festival to my yard. Oh, look, Linda and the boys are invited too. That's awesome. Oh, hey, Erna. Hello. Thanks. Erna's big, beautiful, set free bash. Wow. Oh, another one. Thanks, Tracy. What a weird day. I went months without being invited to anything because of the virus, and then today, all these invitations to parties, and there's another one from Tracy. Oh, she's throwing a Jesus Loves Me So party. I don't get it. It's not their birthdays or anniversaries or graduation. I don't think they're going on any trips. What's up with all this partying and celebrating while we're in the midst of a pandemic? <sighs> Looks like there's another one, Stephen. Stephen, you are invited to celebrate your salvation today in worship. Huh, and there's a verse, Psalm 51, 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Wait a minute. This worship time is my salvation party? I didn't know. I haven't been in a party mood for months because of this virus. Oh, but, but all of these invitations, all my friends celebrating at the same time, this beautiful county we live in, the awesome music. Oh, how silly of me to forget. No matter how bored or hard or even good your week was, this right here, is time every week where we throw a salvation party to remember what Jesus has done for us. He set us free. He's healed us. He's rescued us. Oh, yeah. He's saved us. And that is so worth celebrating. At the end of the book of Esther, a Jewish holiday was started to celebrate the freedom that they received. And yesterday, we celebrated our country's birthday, remembering our freedom. But the freedom that we have because of Jesus is worth celebrating more than just once a year. Do you know what Jesus has done for you? then let's worship and celebrate together. Let's have a salvation party. Let's pray. God, thank you for all that you've done for us. And thank you for giving us the church and a place and technology so that we can celebrate together every week what you've done. You are so good. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, families, if you head over to pbfkids.org, we've got our Zoom link for our 1130 kindergarten to fifth grade time today. We also have our family church activities link for things that you could do during the week as well as a new preschool video. All right, let's celebrate today.